Yes. Now we'll discuss about the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. There are six muscles present in anterior abdominal wall. Four muscles are large muscle and two muscles are small muscle. These muscles are external oblique muscle. External oblique. Internal oblique. Transversus abdominis. And here, rectus abdominis. First of all, we will discuss about the all four large muscles. First of all, there is external oblique muscle. This external oblique muscle in this diagram, you can see this is G5 process, this is 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. 12th ring. Here is iliac crest. This is pubic tubercle. This is pubic bone. And this is linea alba. This is linea alba. Here is position of umbilicus. This is linea alba. External oblique muscle takes origin from lower eight ribs, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth ribs. Like this. Direction of the muscle fiber is directed downward, forward, and medially. This is direction of the muscle fiber. This is inserted This is fleshy part of the muscle This is fleshy part of the muscle which is inserted on here. This is outer lip of anterior two third of anterior two third of iliac crest. This is outer lip of anterior two third of the iliac crest. So fleshy fibers inserted on here. These are lower fibers and upper fibers. These are upper fibers. The upper the fibers after this line they become aponeurotic. This is aponeurotic. And from anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle, it forms a fold. This is inguinal ligament. So this muscle is inserted, aponeurosis of this muscle is inserted on G5 process, linea alba, pubic symphysis, pubic crest, pubic tubercle and pectineal line at the pubis here. <coughs> From anterior superior iliac spine, it folds like this, this is slightly fold. On inner side like this and from here to here form the inguinal ligament. Another important thing here above the pubic bone it has a, this is superficial inguinal ring. There is triangular gap this is superficial inguinal ring. Actually, here, this external oblique aponeurosis extends from here 
and form the external spermatic fascia. This is external spermatic fascia. So this is tubular extension from this triangular area. This triangular area is known as superficial inguinal ring and this extension is known as external spermatic fascia. This is external spermatic fascia. So these are two important features. One is inguinal ligament and this is under nerve supply of this from T7 to T12 and L1. Another muscle is internal oblique. This is internal oblique. It takes origin from from here to here. There is fascia that is known as thoracolumbar fascia. This is thoracolumbar fascia. This is thoracolumbar fascia. And also from intermediate area, this is intermediate area of the anterior two third of the iliac crest here and two third of the inguinal ligament. This is lateral two third of the inguinal ligament. This is medial one third of the inguinal ligament. Here. So this muscle arises from here and direction of the fibers is directed upward, forward, and medial like this. From here to here, it is aponeurotic. This is aponeurotic. This is upper fibers are inserted on this is seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth rib. So upper fibers inserted on twelfth, eleventh, tenth, and ninth rib. These are fleshy fibers, and lower fibers. These are become aponeurotic here and inserted on 7th, 8th, this is 7th, 8th rib and also on the, this is aponeurotic fibers, the five process, linear alba, pubic symphysis, pubic crest, Like this. So this is internal oblique muscle. It takes only from thoracolumbar fascia, anterior two third of intermediate area of the iliac crest, lateral two third of the inguinal ligament, and the fleshy fibers are inserted from here to here. Aponeurotic fibers inserted from here, and linear elbow, pubic crest, pubic tubercle and pectineal line of the pubis. Nerve supply is T7 T, to T12 and L1. And the muscle is transversus abdominis. This is again divided into three parts. This, this is lateral one third. This is middle. This is medial one third. So this muscle takes origin from lateral one third part of the inguinal ligament. And this muscle takes origin from lateral two third part of the inguinal ligament. So this is transversus abdominis and also this muscle takes OG from 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, rib. Direction of the muscle fibers are horizontal like this. From this line to this, this is fleshy fiber and here are the aponeurotic fibers. This aponeurotic fibers are inserted on the five process, linea alba, and here is pubic symphysis, pubic crest, pubic tubercle and pectineal line of the pubis. 
a progressive of the internal oblique and transverse abdominis here joint to form the conjoint tendon are false inguinalis are inguinal are the conjoint tendon and the muscle that is rectus abdominis again nerve supply is t7 to t12 and l1 here is 